Hi, Joel Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here today in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And we are going to go over our next addition to our inventory here. And this new piece here, this is a 1969 Pontiac GTO. And yes, before you ask, it is a real GTO, a 242 VIN code car. Now this one here, as you can see, real nice color, kind of a not, not an ordinary color that you would typically see, but this one is a factory Pontiac color. It is Verdoro Green Poly Exterior. Paint on this car is smooth, shiny the whole way around. All the panels all in alignment with each other. Everything looks really good on this car. First thing you can see and you can tell from the GTOs here is you've got the factory steel GTO hood. It's got the dual scoops on it. We'll see it from the front side as well, but it also has that hood tack on it that the GTOs had that kind of set them apart from other cars. And again, all these gauges that we show you on this car, they all function just as they should. As you can see down the side of our car here, also to complete the look and keep it looking as original as possible, They've got the Pontiac Rally 2 wheels. These are 14 by 7s. You can see they are the uh, like the gray or the charcoal painted centers with the silver spokes on them. They do have the beauty rings and the PMD center caps. And as far as the tires, again, they kept a very traditional, original look. It's got a set of BF Goodrich Silvertown radials. Size on these are 225-70R14s. And again, as you can see, they've got the red lines on them too to keep them looking factory original. Again, it is a radial tire though, so you've got the performance of a radial, but the look of a classic bias ply tire. Now, as we look down the side of it, you can see it's got the GTO badging down here on the front fenders. It also has the GTO rear marker lights here too. Uh, the other thing it has, it's got the bright wheel lip moldings on this car, so both front and rear wheel wells have the trim in them. It also has the bright work up along your windows here. These are your drip rail moldings. And then as we feel through the rain gutter section here, everything is nice and smooth. There's no bumps, no, uh, no rough spots. It feels real nice and smooth. Of course, you've got the chrome mirror here on the driver's side as well. As far as your doors go, you can look at the fit on these things. You can see the gaps on the front side as well as on the back side. And these things are fitting real, real nice. They actually line up really nice with the front fenders and with the rear quarter panels as far as the elevations go. Door handles on these things are in great shape too. You can see the side glass here, both in your door glass and in your quarter window glass. These things are really, really nice. You can see there's no chips or cracks in them. Don't even see any scratching in these windows. They look really good. And you've got all of your trim here, like on the leading edge of your quarter windows here. This stuff is really nice, nice and smooth, polished up real good. We'll open up our door and then we'll take a look inside. Now inside on this green GTO, you can see it's got the tan interior, front bucket seats, of course the rear bench. Front buckets have the uh, uh, headrests on them. Uh, you've got all the original seat belts, got the tan carpeting, tan headliner, tan door panels, and matching tan dash in the car. Um, it's got all the factory gauges in it, full center console with the automatic floor shifter. It's got the original steering wheel in there also. Factory um, heater controls in there as well. It even has in there, it's got a slightly updated radio in it. It's a full digital radio. It's a retro sound digital radio, but that is one of the radios that you can actually install right in the factory opening. There are no cutting or modifications needed to get that radio in there. So if you ever wanted to go back to say an original style radio, you can do that. All of your weather stripping and seals around that door and around the glass are all in great shape too close that up. It closes nice, good solid uh, thud there when you close it. That way you know it's been all adjusted right and actually fits right too. As I said, body panels down the side, nice and super straight the whole way around on this car. As we get to the back, um, we're going to go ahead, we'll start up top here. The rear glass here, again, slightly tinted. You've got your trim here, the bright work, all of that looks very good, nice and straight, polished up real well here. 
down below now here's your trunk lid you can see your gaps the whole way around on your trunk lid the elevations compared with the rear quarter panels those all look very nice as well guess you've got the uh, full chrome rear bumper here also gto emblem up on the trunk now your tail lights here tail lights are in really good shape the lenses are in great condition there's no chips or cracks in those now these bezels i'm going to guess that these are probably the original bezels for these cars but again it's in really good shape for what it is again 1969 you do see just a tiny little wee bit of pitting on the bezels but everywhere else the bumpers and so forth everything looks super nice we will open our trunk lid up and show you inside here of course you see the bright work to trim along that leading edge of the trunk in here now we do have your trunk floor trunk floor is in great shape there's no patching or repairs on this trunk floor it looks good you've got the original bumper jack in this pouch here which is in good shape you've got a full-size spare tire here also with the spare tire cover there as well to keep that all uh, in uh, containment back here and covered up and then as far as this antenna that you see looks to be a power antenna back there on that passenger side rear quarter panel you even have the jack instructions back here the decal underneath that trunk lid which you can see is painted the same color as the uh, rest of the car your trunk weather stripping and seals here too those are in great condition you can see nice and soft there's no rips or tears out of any of it meets together right here at the center at the bottom so again this thing's going to seal up really well for you so we'll go ahead and close this up and we'll continue our walk around now on the passenger side again you've got straight super straight panels here we've already been over wheels tires all of your side marker lights we'll get to our windows here now again your quarter rear quarter and then your uh, dry, or passenger side window again all tinted no chips cracks or scratching to speak of you've got your drip rail moldings here that are nice and straight the trim along that leaning edge of your quarter window nice and straight and polished up and again down your rain gutter nice and smooth in there again you'll look at your gaps on the passenger side too front and rear and you can see that those are very uniform front to back as far as your elevations with your fender and your quarter panel same thing as on the other side other side these things are matched up really well and fits really well let's open our door up take a look at the inside from here again we've already been through all of this but again you'll just take good notice of all the seat upholstery and so forth no rips or tears no fading really in the carpeting your center console looks really good there's no rips uh, in any of the console uh, even up on your dash there, there's no cracks or anything in the dash everything looks really good close that up and now we'll just work our way around to the front of the vehicle so at the front here again with the 69 gto you didn't have a chrome bumper obviously you had the, the body colored painted front bumper and that looks really well in this car of course you've got those traditional gto grills down here with the quad headlights down here so you've got your low beams high beams all glass lenses no chips or cracks in any of those lenses and the grills themselves all intact and then down below as far as your lower balance you've got your um, parking lights down below those are in great shape too again lenses on those are in great condition now as far as your hood we've already spoke about this you do have the full steel hood here the dual scoops and then again like i mentioned with the gto you've got that hood tack up here which again all gauges are functional even your windshield here again to complete all the glass on the car this is in great shape you can see tinted at the top again the rest of the wind windshield itself is in great shape now we'll go ahead under the hood next so let's pop that hood and now we can discuss what we have here so of course first thing is under the hood here they've got the underside of the hood painted black here the rest of the engine compartment of course it's done in black also the inner fenders and the uh the cowl back there now as far as the motor itself this is the original numbers match motor it's got the chrome air cleaner with the dual inlets on it for air intake to the air cleaner um, you've got the cast uh, intake down there 
and then chrome valve covers there to give it a nice look. Got a set of upgraded plug wires here. Um, now these are a set of eight and a half millimeter MSD plug wires to go along with an HEI ignition. So that's gonna deliver a lot better spark to your motor, get you better performance out of there. Of course, up front, we've got a factory style uh, radiator. We've got a, uh, looks like a seven blade aluminum fan in there with the shroud to help keep everything cool. This car even has the factory air conditioning over there, which again is all hooked up. Uh, all belts are hooked up, all lines are hooked up, and is functional. Uh, this is a power steering car, power brakes, it's got disc up front, drums on the rear. So again, this is the 400 Pontiac motor. Behind that, we've got the automatic transmission with the rear end in it. Um, again, we will go over all of that stuff when we get to the underside of the car so you get to see the condition and the look of that from the underside. Um, but other than that, that is our 1969 GTO from the outside and looking inside on it. So like I said, next we'll go ahead and get this on the lift, show you the complete underside, and then finally we'll fire this 400 Pontiac up, let you hear what this motor and the exhaust system all sound like. All right, so as we are underneath the uh, underside here of our 69 Pontiac GTO, we're going to go through this just as we do all of our cars, going through driving our drive line, steering, suspension, frame, floors, exhaust, wheels, tires, all of that stuff. So starting at the front of our GTO here, we've got our typical front suspension. You've got the uh, factory stamp steel upper and lower control arms on it. Ball joints on both of those on both corners are in great shape on this car. You can tell everything's been greased and maintained very well throughout the years. As far as the steering on this car, it is power steering. We've got the tie rods to the front sides here of the A-arm, so you probably can't see those real well, but they are in great shape. Super straight the whole way across. All four ball joints all have the rubber dust boot covers all intact, so that's gonna keep that grease in, keep dirt and debris out. In combination with the suspension, we do have the front sway bar here. Your sway bar frame bushings here are in great condition. Sway bar end links, same thing. Those are in really good shape too. Now as far as the braking components on this car, it is power brakes. It's got the disc brakes up front. Those are just your factory disc brakes up front. Then of course, it's got the drum brakes out on the rear. Now while we're talking about all that stuff, we'll just go ahead and run right into the wheels and tires on this car then. Um, as far as the wheels go, this has the Pontiac Rally 1 wheel, or no, this is the Rally 2. Uh, this is the Rally 2 wheel, the five spoke design. They are the painted, like the gray with the silver spokes. Um, they are 14 by sevens on all four corners. Uh, they do have the beauty rings, the trim rings, and they do have the PMD center caps on those as well. As far as the tires go, a nice looking set of tires on this car. These are the BF Goodrich Silvertown radials. These are the red line radials to give it that kind of that factory look, but in a radial tire though that's going to perform well for you. And the tread on these is, is in great condition on, these, on this vehicle. So that's steering, suspension, braking, and wheels and tires. Drive line now on the car. This is the original. Pontiac 400 motor here for this car. Behind that, we've got a turbo 400 automatic transmission. As far as the oil pan on the motor and the transmission pan, everything is free from leaks or drips. It is dry underneath here. Now, it does have the flywheel cover on it too, so that's gonna help protect that from any chipping that might occur from any dirt or debris getting in there. As we come back a little further here, you're going to notice we've got our factory stamp steel uh, transmission cross member right here in the middle of the car. The mount for the tail shaft, that's in great shape too. The drive shaft, it is a balanced drive shaft, so that's going to eliminate a lot of the vibration that you might uh, feel in that drive line. And then as far as the rear end goes, this is a 10 volt rear. It's the 8.2 inch ring gear. It is uh, 323 gear ratio in this car. So again, those always change in cars. That's why I like to keep my sheet here so I know exactly what we've got there. So that's again, 323 gear ratio. 
Um, as far as the frame and floors on this car now, you can see underneath here, this thing is in great condition. The frame's nice and straight. Of course, your GTO's got full frame car um, all the way to the back here as far as the rear suspension. This is your typical metric four link rear suspension. So you've got your lower control arms here on either side, the top two control arms up above on the rear end, and uh, again, opposing angles to keep the rear end centrally located in the car. As far as the springs go, those are in great condition. Again, a nice set of gas shocks back there as well. Uh, exhaust system starts off at the cast exhaust manifolds up front, drops down here into our dual exhaust all the way back, set of uh, probably like a turbo style muffler here we've got the correct set of uh, tailpipes up over top of that rear end housing tucked up nice and tight there up next to that uh, the trunk floor in the very front and of course they've got the resonator exhaust tips on this car as well so it's going to be kind of a quieter ride uh, but it's going to be a good sounding ride though uh, from you know from what i've experienced with these type of exhausts as far as the fuel tank, it's in great shape too. There's no dents or dings in that. That thing looks great. The mounting hardware, the straps and all that stuff, that looks great. Um, all of your brake lines and fuel lines are run right along the side of the frame rails here. And those all look really good. Um, as far as your floors, again, these are original floors. No patching, no holes. You can see every brace is there as it should be from the factory. And then also it has the emergency brake hooked up on this car too. So front cables, intermediates, rear cables back to the drum brakes. It is all there and functional. So that's pretty much it for underneath our 69 Pontiac GTO. We're going to go ahead now and get this down off the lift. And we'll open the hood up, fire that motor up and let you hear what that motor and this exhaust system sound like. 